This video is proudly recorded and produced on OpenBSD. So you may wondering how do I listen to music on OpenBSD especially since there is no DRM support on OpenBSD. The answer is simple, I have my own music collection and that's how I do listen to music. But the setup is not as simple as having all my music on my local hard drive. It's a bit more complicated than that and allow me to explain the process. So simply speaking, my music collection size is something between 50 to 60 gigabytes consists of mainly old school music I consider from let's say mid 90s to late 2010 or 2012, 13 max. And once in a while, if I hear a music that I like it, I will go and find a way to download it and then basically add it to my music collection, simply speaking. So the music are not in the local, so I have a Raspberry Pi hooked up in my network and it has multiple functions. One, it acts as the Plex Media server, so I can actually watch the movie collections that I have through my TV because my TV doesn't support Jellyfin, so I use actually Plex there, unfortunately. And then also it's, it acts as a Samba, a Samba server because I want to access to, to my, let's say, documents, to my files, other files that are not music or, or not movie, some other personal documentation. I would like to access those through different devices, let's say through my phone, or let's say if I have a other, other operating system up and running, and I found the simplest and easiest way to access those documents is through Samba, since it's supported almost on any device, is a pretty old school uh, protocol and it's also well supported the last thing is the music server and that one i run navy drum so this navy drum is a music server and it's a very handy simple easy to set up easy to open to get it up and running and it has a web ui and web interface plus supporting the subsonic slash air sonic protocol and I actually hooked up my music collection there and this is what you can see here. As you can see, it's almost sorted. So if I go to the artist, you can see I have a different artist name. And matter of fact, I have like a 295 artists in my collection. But getting, all, getting to this level wasn't that simple because my music collection is a mess. Uh, the tagging all is wrong because I downloaded things from a different website and the tags all is the different websites, shady names that are defunct now. And there is nothing right in the tagging. Let's say 2% of the collection has a right tag. The rest is wrong. And unfortunately, any modern music player doesn't operate based on the directory. It mainly operates based on the tag. So what I got it right in my music collection was the directory structure. Put the artist name right, create a different mixtape for the music that I listen to frequently and separate it by year, this and that. So the directory structure is right, the tagging was wrong. And the music players, they don't respect the directory structure but I wanted to actually sort out the directory structure reflected in the tagging. So what I did, I went and found this Python library, ID3. I wrote a Python code to actually go through all the music that I have, all the songs that I have, and then modify the tags, remove all the tags, all the shady website name, and instead substitute the tag, the artist field with the directory name. That's how I got the artist names right. However, still the album information, the song information is missing. The good thing about Navy Drum is that it shows the actual file name and most of the file name in my actually music collection is correct. They might not exactly be uh, let's say synthetically right or it fall or they they do not follow the same let's say syntax or the naming convention but more or less the names are right maybe 
5 to 10 percent of the songs have wrong name or have generic name but other than that everything is almost good however with the tags missing about the album about the song name about the year that is released i cannot utilize the lyric function their, their lyric function doesn't work unfortunately but everything else is working and for example if i go to the artist here if i click let's say on bonium you can see it pulls the information from the internet and also it has some functions that you can hook it up to the last fm and things like that in case that's a thing for you overall this navy drum is a fantastic program is written in go is super fast super easy to deploy and there is nothing that i can complain about it except one thing and that one thing is that there is no command line program or command line music player that supports subsonic or air sonic that's the biggest drawback that I found about Navy Drum. Other than that, everything is simple and straightforward. And the way that I work around this problem is by simply using my SambaShare mount that SambaShare to my local. Then actually simply I can go open something like a MPV or Music Cube. So I use Music Cube also to just listen to the music in my local from my terminal. But nonetheless, the this Navy drum is very uh, lightweight. The UI also is pretty intuitive. The reasoning that I decided to go with this Navy drum and not something else because my end plan is to be able to expose this one to the internet so I can actually listen to my music from anywhere that I wish but that one I won't make it public obviously because I don't want to get in trouble legally the next thing that I want to discuss is about how do I listen to radio so I use this fantastic program called by radio this one is a command line program and to be honest is the one of the best a multimedia program that I've seen out there is super easy, super intuitive, and everything about it is super simple. Unfortunately, it's not available on the OpenBSD port tree, so you have to actually install it but you're by yourself. But it's very portable code, so you don't have any trouble installing it. It's installing it is just a matter of issuing a couple of pipe commands, and then afterwards you're good to go. And also, you can actually create your own custom team. Since I really like this program, I created a custom team and also the custom team is not now part of the official repository. And this one is created by yours truly and you can actually switch between different teams. Super simple, super straightforward. The key binding is sane and intuitive and you don't need to learn uh, tons of different things. It follows the Vim key bindings and also you can use arrow keys. And also it supports multiple playlists and I use that feature to separate the radio stations by language. For example, if I press O, it opens the playlist. I have an English play playlist, I have German playlist. I really love it. To be honest, it's a fantastic program and I highly recommend you to try it in case that you are interested to listen to the online radios. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would like to take a moment to thank Patreon contributors Grog with 30 generous dollar, a stellar orbit with 20 generous dollar, OpenBSC Maximalist, Alexander M, Monty, Russell Willis, OpenBSC Enthusiast, DM, John Collins, Liquid Mobius, and OpenBSC Curious, Sictor.